Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included in the Ultimate Base 2.0. In the previous episode, we installed the interplanetary launcher in order to send over a couple of payloads. We already sent over almost 20 tons of gold amalgam, so it is actually a quick and efficient way to do so. The only thing I was really complaining about is that we have to unpack all of these payloads, but you'll let me know that there is a payload opener that we can use unpacks interplanetary payloads delivered by duplicants. It will automatically separate solid, liquid and gas materials and distribute them in the appropriate system. So I'm assuming we could for instance have it here as an example and there's gonna be an output for each of the various things. Like we can extract gases directly into pipes this way and we can probably do the same thing here with the items. So my storage is all the way down here at the bottom, but essentially there's nothing in the way if I just let it drop. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna take a conveyor loader and then we're gonna drop it right there. And it's gonna fall all the way down into the storage. It doesn't even require power from the looks of it. The only thing I have to make sure is that we are actually using a bridge here. So I wanna hop over the slot and make sure this is not connected here but very nice yeah look at that there's a new payload and now i will have it easy to actually deal with it it definitely beats clicking every payload and manually opening it up i can just sweep it up i probably don't even have to sweep it up i guess as long as there is a payload and this machine they're gonna kind of work together and uh, there we go okay and they're not dropping down into my storage ah this is absolutely perfect it's gonna make things much easier and everything is already stored in the meantime, the interplanetary launcher on Grow Ista almost always has enough radiation and you can see now it is going to rapidly shoot many payloads. And then finally the contraption here at the bottom is almost finished. Is this still a vacuum? Yes indeed. I think we can go ahead and start picking things up. I'm gonna try to bring those materials upstairs. Next activity 14 cycles and next dormancy 18 cycles. So this guy is already active again. That is good. Right now we're still gonna profit off the chill of the biome obviously. But soon enough we're gonna be dependent on the steam turbines only. Which is why we have 3 per volcano. So I'm guessing the only thing we're missing here is the drywall that I'm gonna set up right now. So all of this needs to be drywalled out. And then we're also kind of missing the ceiling here. Yeah, obviously all of this needs to be filled out. And I guess we're leaving a little opening towards our liquid lock for now. Yeah, should be good. Man, there are still so many materials that I will have to pick up. It's gonna be unbelievable. If we check on smell y'all, I'm guessing, yeah, we're still at it with the materials. However, if we have a look around, you can clearly see we've already collected more materials. I'm guessing we can still take this apart and do some some digging here and of course we want to pick up the materials as well now let's pick up these guys pick up these guys and then i also kind of would like to know what we can find here so maybe that's the first thing i'm actually gonna do r2 before you store that please just open up the volcano i want to know what this is it is a carbon dioxide geyser so nothing too useful really Oh, one thing I forgot to check. How are we doing here with the ladders? Yeah, look at that. We are slowly getting somewhere, taking all these ladders apart. I really hope it's gonna help a lot FPF-wise. That's the reason we're doing it. I also need to check my food situation. Half a million calories again, that is good. We have almost 100,000 kilocalories of berry sludge and then... R2 also still has over 130,000 kilocalories. So basically we definitely got out of this precarious situation. Okay, wonderful. I guess it's time to finish off that build and then we should be able to take care of the gold volcanoes. However, before we do that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and move over the remainder of my salt water. Yeah, we're actually gonna go ahead and do that. We should have some more berry sludge here in the... Wow, look at that. Already another 100k. This is extremely useful, I have to admit, but we want to move to Growista crew, change that to Frankie, I'm sorry. You're just my go-to person for abuse. I want to send him over with the liquid cargo tank to get another 9 tons of salt water over to the main planetoid. But there we go. See ya soon, have fun. Actually, I'm gonna tell him to unequip the suit right away, so I don't forget about it. 
You know, at this point, I wonder if it might be wiser to just fill up all the empty spaces with tiles instead of removing the ladders. I mean, it's going to be quite agonizing to reach anything this way. And if I have everything filled out, I can just make myself some corridors and everything I need to reach particular areas. The question is just, is there a material I could use for it? I mean, we could go through our sandstone. Sandstone is absolutely useless. Yeah, I'm actually intrigued now. I might just go ahead and start up this project because that is always something I can work on, but I don't necessarily have to all the time. So that means we would just take the tiles and do one row after another. So just go all the way up here and eventually we'll have this filled up in no time. <laughs> Also, another thing I really would like to do is get more clay. So let's get another deodorizer going. We even have some easy power nearby. Wonderful. But all of this precious polluted oxygen, we can squeeze some more clay out of it. Man, I always miss when the rockets are arriving. There we go. I'm gonna let Frankie actually leave the building. Now, he took the berry sludge with him. I'm not too happy about that situation. Let's put this to priority nine. I would like to keep this berry sludge inside of the rocket. So we're gonna try to sweep it up again. See if he picks it up. Yeah, he's actually bringing it back to the rocket now. Good, Frankie is storing some materials now. He's helping out as the salt water is entering the liquid cargo. Now, the interplanetary launcher is actually full. And the reason for that is we're not using the conveyor loader anymore at the moment. So maybe we should increase the priority of this. I wonder. I mean, technically, if they start up here, they should be taking care of that priority because everything has priority 5 at the moment. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Yeah, Marie's not having it right now. So it looks like these sweep commands are messing with my payload system. Okay, that is good to know. Maybe we need an auto sweeper after all in this world. At least now I can send my payloads and if everything still works on the other side, then yes, indeed, all the payloads are automatically being taken care of. Wonderful. And that in turn means we now have plenty of gold to actually make more gold tiles. So let's do that. Gonna go ahead and do 50 more crafts. Apart from the gold amalgam, I also want to send the fossils over. Both are materials I'm definitely not gonna require anymore. I'm probably also gonna send over the wolframite, uranium, everything except for the refined aluminium, I guess. Uh, actually, let's not do that just yet. I'm gonna focus on one material at a time for now. Some of the materials, obviously, I still have to keep in order to make the additional contraptions. There's gonna be another double volcano tamer. That is gonna look similar to the first one, probably minus the jumbo battery department. But yeah, as you can see, we're now getting more aluminium again at a decent temperature that we're gonna be able to use. A couple of cycles have passed and I'm back with another rocket in order to get the salt water. I actually decided to try and go through with it by filling up most of the empty space just with tiles. On the other two planetoids, I'm probably gonna do something similar. Not sure which material I'm gonna use. But yeah, essentially there is a plenty of work ahead of us. Right now I'm getting the last of my materials out of the system. I'm gonna have to make sure that I can grab the pipe somehow before I close off the liquid lock. So eventually we wanna take a little detour to be able to cool down something else and then we're gonna be coming down from the top here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, looks like all my endeavors at the moment will take quite a few cycles. I'm gonna make sure to keep you updated as we make more progress. In the meantime, payload opener still working, doesn't heat up, that is good to know. And let's see, did we already fill up the rocket? Is this still moving? No, we're still filling it up, but we're almost there. So I'm gonna send it back immediately at 9 tons. Good luck, Frankie. Thank you for your services. Frankie is back with some food poisoning. What you gonna do? At least we'll receive some juicy salt water again to produce more fresh water. I think it's also time to open this up. I want the materials to actually drop down. By the way, we can now also take these windows apart. However, somebody needs to have the appropriate skill, which is the demolition skill. So that is good that they implemented it. Right now, I think we're way too dependent on the coal in Otto's world. I would like to change that with some more batteries and solar panels. So I guess back in the main base, let's craft some more glass. I mean, we have 460 tons of sand. Shouldn't be a problem. It's also still fairly cold up here. We shouldn't run into too many issues. The worst thing that can happen is that this heavy watt wire is gonna melt. 
but I think one way we could go ahead and prevent this from happening is by doing this. Alright, the wrap bolt generators are at 800 degrees. I'm gonna let them shoot one more time before exchanging them. And that took a really long time, so I'm not too pressed with the final cooling system for these guys. Once we intend to send Marie away from this place again, we definitely need automated cooling. But thus far it really wasn't too agonizing. And there is the next shot. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and deconstruct this rat bolt generator and we're gonna reconstruct it right away. There she is already taking it apart. Come on. Gonna rebuild it. And if we tell her to stay here, she's gonna use the same materials and therefore cooling down the materials to 45 degrees. Little bit of a cheesy heat deletion, but that's just how it goes. Wonderful. So far so good, I would say. I'm gonna keep going with all the projects I've running at the moment. And then once we can do something else that's interesting, I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty guys, I am back with a huge updates. I've been playing for multiple hours in order to make some progress. And as you can see, I've already started to fill out substantial amounts of the empty terrain. And I've started to do the same thing here on the other side, just leaving the occasional stuff free in order to still be able to reach them. I also already ended up removing the Grub Grub and Sweetle farms. I didn't really see the point anymore in having them. And that's essentially all I've been working on on this planetoid. Then on Grow Ista, we've obviously also made some progress. As you can see here, a lot of the terrain has been dug out. Also, we're now really starting to melt down the baum here. If we check out the temperature, this is quite interesting. But yeah, so far so good, I would say. I've also taken myself the liberty of actually digging out the entirety of the gold volcanoes. I also found another minor volcano here on the left side and I decided to integrate it in the design. Now we're gonna do something similar like this one here. This one here is perfectly symmetrical which we cannot accomplish with the gold volcanoes. However, I figured what we can do is have everything be centralized so the gold is gonna flow into this direction and dribble down into the layer of oil where then it's gonna be processed and shipped away. If we're lucky, we can integrate the minor volcano in order to gain some more igneous rock. I mean, why the heck not? If we already have this contraption, it can also fulfill multiple purposes. To make everything a little bit clearer, we're gonna set up the steam turbines. So they would go right here. And I actually measured it out so we can fit four of them on the left side. And we will also be able to fit two of them right here in order to help out with additional cooling. The space right here at the moment is completely wasted, so I'm actually thinking about filling it out. We could get started by filling this out. Yeah, technically I'm not gonna need any of this. The question is, how are we going to enter the contraption? Should we do it on the left side here? I mean, eventually we'll have to vacuum it out before we go to the next step. One thing we can definitely already do is send over another load of oil. So maybe it's time to hook this up again. All I have to do is hook this up, I guess. And then we should be able to fill this rocket up with crude oil. So that's exactly what I want to store right now. I have nothing else in there. And then the oil is being added. Wonderful. Looks like I have some flooding here that I discovered too late. I think we need to do this carefully. Ah, we have some ice here. The ice is the biggest problem. Oh, nice. Frankie actually solved the problem from a different angle than I first anticipated. Come on, somebody build this tile. It cannot be that hard. Thank you. Now we can take apart the crossing and we should be able to mop this up again. Easy peasy. On Growista, obviously we need a way to receive the oil. At the moment, I still have this one hooked up. So I think we're gonna need an unloader. I'm just gonna put this on the other side. It's gonna come out here and we're just gonna hijack the other pipe we're at the moment using for the input. I mean, the other pipe we probably don't have to use anymore because we practically took care of all the salt water. But yeah, right now this pipe is gonna have to be prioritized so that we can ship over the oil. And then obviously I'll also have to mop everything up and pick everything up. I'm especially afraid of the ice. I don't really want this to melt, so we're gonna bring it somewhere else. Okay, time to unpause and let things flow a little bit and see where we can go with all of this. I'm now also using a auto sweeper in order to fill up the conveyor loader and therefore we regularly shoot some payloads over to the main planetoid. Looks like it's about time to exchange the wrap bolt generators. They have reached another 1000 degrees. Now obviously we're gonna keep working on tiling everything out. One problem we could encounter are the materials. At the moment I already went through the sandstone. I also went through the mafic rock. 
So I'm not entirely sure how successful we're going to be. Maybe at some point we have to swap to plastics since that is a resource that is practically unlimited. However, the glossy Dracos are just not fast enough. I mean, all this time I had the farm already. We only produced close to 100 tons of it. And for instance, this square right here already requires one ton. So that is a little bit of a problem. There we go, rap bolt generators have been reset. You might have noticed I added a third one to be even faster. Oh, before I forget, these batteries technically are not necessary anymore. I only installed them because we had that battery shortage. Oh no, we're actually getting some water in the joint here as well. Oh, this is really bad. I totally forgot about this. So right now it's not pure oil we're actually implementing. However, I believe we could just go ahead and bypass it. So at this point we move up, we bridge over, then we set up a little sensor in order to dump the water. And I guess we could go straight back into here. Let's say we give the bypass the priority. So this is how it would have to go. Set up maybe a couple of ladders so we can build that stuff. We then use our old system with the vent as well as the element sensor. Gonna use a not gate right here because if we detect the oil then we don't want to open the vent otherwise we do. And then a bridge right there in order to close the loop and I think we should be good to actually filter out the water this way. Element sensor should detect my crude oil and that's hopefully all we need to do for now. Alrighty, we won't be finishing this build anytime soon. Well, at least not in today's episode. But as you can see, I already brought over my first load of oil. I actually had to swap around the system a little bit because as long as you have something in the port loader, it is just sitting in there and even the oil is then gonna bypass the loader. So I took apart the system again and the way this works now is we are bringing the salt water into the liquid cargo tank of the second rocket. So all the water that lands in here is gonna go in here and then it's automatically being dumped again into the world. So it's going into the system we prepared in the previous episode. That means Marie can now take care of other things in the meantime and then we are waiting for these steam turbines to be built. We're gonna fill this out and then we need a proper way to get in here. I wanna send over another rocket with oil, this time with Gene as a pilot in order to analyze the volcanoes. In order to analyze the volcanoes properly, we'll have to prepare them. So I want to make sure they are enclosed, first of all. And obviously we also need to achieve a vacuum. So I was kind of thinking, if we manage to get a vacuum in here, let's say we come down here, and all we really have to have is one step here that we're gonna fill up with a liquid, then we can, we can then use a ladder in order to get in there. Actually, I'm gonna move everything a little bit to the left, so these ladders here are a continuation of the ladders we already have. If we can, we're gonna catch the volcanoes in their dormant state. For instance, this guy here is already in that state. And then I guess the next step would be to get a couple of pumps in there. I'm just gonna do two for now and we also need power. Didn't think about that one yet. I'm probably gonna go around here, then we're gonna go down and at this point I wanna move over and hop into the system. So the power would be coming from the top, we would go through the steam turbines. We bring it over and down. This one here is gonna have to be made out of steel in order to sustain the heat. And then we can keep going with the aluminium. Now the question is, do we even need more aqua tuners? I mean, we could easily go with the aqua tuners we already have and use them in order to cool down the steam turbines. This means we don't even need the steel wire. We can simply go ahead and do something like this in order to get the power to the rest of the steam turbines. Well, I guess we can still have at least one aqua tuner in here, at least in order to take care of the steam turbines. But we probably don't need another two, is my point. Another thing I wanted to change for Marie is to fill up this area of the fridge. At the moment, my berry sludge has too many germs and sometimes she gets sick of it. So we're gonna exchange that with a storage and some chlorine to rectify that issue. Consumable ore, bleach stone, priority 9. Uh, please do that right away. I'm gonna limit the storage. I believe what we brought is already enough. The rocket with Frankie already returned, so we should be loading up some oil. And right now you can see it is also filling up the other rocket, but immediately extracting the water again. So that was a much easier solution. The chlorine is already maxed out, so we're replacing this with a fridge again. We will be storing the berry sludge and nothing else at priority 9. Oh no, looks like we're now also picking up polluted water. Oh, this is really bad. Actually, we are prepared for this. We have the infrastructure, so all we have to do is enable the filter. 
polluted water can now also go in here and it should be going through my system afterwards. Unloader, you also want to unload polluted water and now it should flow. Wonderful. Okay, looks like I actually ran out of oil. I totally forgot that I disabled the system here. Yeah, of course, we want to produce some more oil here. Thank you. That's the entire purpose of the second planetoid. Alrighty, I would say it's time to wrap up the episode. What I'm still gonna do is send over two loads of oil. So I think we can already do that now. Frankie, you're gonna pilot that rocket. And at the same time, we're gonna be bringing over a whole bunch more berry sludge. And look at that, 300,000 germs. That is not really good. However, now with the chlorine in the fridge area, we shouldn't run into food poisonings. Of course, Marie is alone on this planet and therefore she has to build everything on her own. But I think she laid a good foundation for the next episode to wrap up the Volcano Tamer design. After that, we will have plenty of access to refined gold as well. And we are also going to have an additional source of igneous rock. So everything else that's going to be important to this design, we're going to take care of the next episode. We will also send Chin over to actually analyze the volcanoes. One thing I would like to finish here is the liquid lock. We're going to use a little bit of oil, just a drop right there. And this is going to be our new entry point. Wonderful. The rocket has arrived, so it's time to change something. Berry Sludge should be priority 8 in the rocket, so they are gonna bring this over. I guess Frankie has something better to do right now. There we go. Marie actually took care of the Berry Sludge. So now she brings it over to the fridge and we should be losing the germs rapidly. Great stuff. In the meantime, we're also unloading the oil, so that can all go into the system here. And then we're gonna bring a third load and that should be enough, essentially. Wonderful. I would say at this point we're gonna wrap it up and the next time we can finish this design, get access to the gold volcanoes. And then I guess we can start to wrap up this planetoid entirely. That's probably all we were interested in at this point. I mean, there's still this saltwater geyser, but I'm not really sure we want to go for that. Let me know in the comments, maybe. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.